Hey guys, it's me. I have rambled in every video that I've done today, so <laughs> we're going to try this and make it short. Um, I do everything from my phone, so getting it to upload is just not happening <sighs> when they're really long. Plus, I have to go in and do all the editing on it, and it's a nightmare. Um, so I talked to my doctor about the cysts and she wanted me to go in and have a consultation so that happened on Thursday. I went in and met the gynecologist and he was very nice. Um, he told me that the reason I get the cyst is because I have a narrow, 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 <laughs> narrow tube. <laughs> this is like video six, so please forgive me. Um, <laughs> Um, and it's getting blocked up which is causing the backup of the fluid which is eventually leading to the infection I do have one right now um, so he checked it out and said he's not going to lance it that he'd rather have that during the surgery to know um, where to go uh, what he does is he just goes in and I guess makes the tube bigger so he says it takes him about 15 minutes, but it's not patient, patient surgery. Um, so I will have to be scheduled and then I'll take a few days off work because it's painful. He said it's more painful than Lansing, which I figured because they're doing oy, a lot more. Um, it's a lot. <sighs> Whatever you want to say. Um. more technical of a surgery. I don't know. Whatever. Phrase it however you want. I <laughs> So as in there we also talked about um, the IUD and the future pregnancy and concerns I had. Um, so basically about the IUD he said I could have it removed and then the next day get pregnant, that there's no research that shows that that causes any complications um, or anything like that. But he said if I felt more comfortable, he would recommend me coming in just a month before we want to conceive and have it removed then and then just talk to him about whatever questions we had um, at that time. And... <sighs> He says that the chances of getting pregnancy again are really, really small. It's very unlikely I'll get it again. It was unlikely that I got it the first time. And although my chances are greater because I did have it with my first pregnancy, they're still very slim. So that made me feel better. And he said that they would monitor me more closely. I would go to a, a high-risk special doctor. I guess there's a, an ultrasound they can do that measures blood flow to the brain I think he said or from the pl I don't remember um, that's kind of an indicator of getting it again um, so if I did have that then they'd monitor me even more closely if not then they would still monitor me closely but not as close as they would if it were an indicator that I would get it again does that make sense um, so that happened and Pretty much it. They're gonna put in the authorization for the surgery, and then um, he said it normally takes about a week to get the authorization, and then about a month from when they do it, so a month from yesterday, it's when they're able to schedule it because it will be done in the operating room at the hospital. Um, I did ask him about having a VBAC, and he said I would have to go to UCLA to have it there that he's heard that Cedar Sinai is even going to stop doing it and I just don't I don't want to drive all the way to UCLA I would have to uh, it just mm, yeah. so um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a scheduled C-section with him um, and that way I can just get my tubes tied while, while I do it anyways <laughs> Just get it over with and don't have to worry about birth control anymore. Um, I think that was pretty much it. Um, I really do. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, I don't think there was anything else. But he was just a really nice doctor. He answered all my questions. He just calmed me down about everything. Um, I've never had a doctor just spend most of their time answering questions about something that you're not even going to be there about. <laughs> Like, I just wanted to talk to him about the cyst and get the approval going on the surgery for that. And we ended up mostly talking about um, my next pregnancy and everything. So that was really nice and really just comforting. Um, so I think that was pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about the surgery or anything, um, let me know and I'll let you know. When we go in, oh, she turned. I'll let you know when I'm gonna be scheduled to go in and have it done and all that fun stuff. Hopefully, it'll be fixed and they won't have to do anything else. The next thing would be the removal of it, and that's just something I don't want to do. So, hopefully, this will fix it and it won't come back and everything will be okay. Hold on one second. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or anything, then let me know and I will talk to you later. Hopefully the lighting is better. Hopefully my hair doesn't look too bad. Hopefully you guys have a good weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.